as we sit here and I call everybody in, a bubble is formed, literally this beautiful, beautiful bubble that's filled with rainbow light, every color of the spectrum, including black, white, and clear. I think that a lot of what you're talking about right here also has to do with a lot of people on the planet right now. They're, we're learning that we didn't come here to fix. <laughs> right? Fixing wasn't in our job description. So when you choose to honor where they are and you honor where you are, then you just keep walking. You're, it's not about you pulling them along. It's not about waiting for them to catch up. It's just about you being in a clear place with a pure heart and uniting, really literally uniting your mind and your heart and allowing for harmony to come in and just be. Being honest and truthful, compassionate, but yet very strong and empowered, not enabling people, but communicating, taking responsibility for those things that you do in your life. And in doing so, and this is a very, very important thing, because in this time frame, what we're doing is we're ending karmic patterns by way of starting new, unconditionally loving patterns. You have all the answers within you, and you can use the outside world as a reflection back to you about your relationship with you. When people withhold information, you are misleading the other people. You are making them think that you're something that you're not. And I understand that a lot of times people do it from a place because they don't want to hurt somebody's feelings or they don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. Guess what? Make them feel uncomfortable if you have to. It's not your job to wait for someone to catch up. It's not your job to pull somebody along. It's not your job to judge where they are isn't right for them. All it is is your job to follow your feeling place because, again, the keys, can I see this key? You hold the key to your wisdom. You hold the key to your treasure box. 